Hey, it's Jeremy here. Today I want to be showing you how to work with Paragraph and Paragraph Styles in Illustrator CC. First up, what we want to do is go to Window, then you want to go open up your par you want to go to Type on the bottom and open up your Paragraph and your Paragraph Styles. You can see you also got your Character Options there and your Glyphs, which is pretty cool as well. We'll do that in another video. So what I want to do is press T for the Type tool. You can see your mouse changes and you got the font up here, what you want. I might change the font, I'll go Garamound. And what we can do now is press left click and just drag out a box. So you can see when you left click and drag it makes a text box. But if you press T and just left click once it makes just a, a, a type line or a type form as you can see there. And it functions differently. So I can drag that, increase the size, you know, I can edit it like the one word by itself. And, and I can edit it like this and transform it. So it's different compared to working with a text box because the text box acts as a, as a paragraph and acts as like a body of text, not just um, a line of text or a title. So you want to keep in mind we have this and I'm just going to open my paragraph styles on the left, on the right here. So I've got paragraph styles and I've got my paragraph window. So what I can do with this is I'm going to go to the, the drop down menu on the right hand and press show options. And we're going to get a few more options here. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I can press T and I can select different types. I can actually go through and select and delete type. I can press enter and you can see as I press enter, it creates this end of paragraph. And to get these signs up, what you do is go to type and go to show hidden characters. So that's a cool trick as well. So you can see, you know, all the spaces and the end of paragraphs, which will help you keep it clean. And I can also select all the type by pressing command or control A. And what we can do is align the text. So I'm going to just select this text box. And you can see here, the first option is aligned to the left. I can align it to center and it's going to change that. I can align it to right. And I can also then get these options, which is justify. So I can actually justify to the left. So what justify means is that you see how the box en ends here. It makes sure all this text in these lines end at this point. So it matches up and it makes it look neater and it makes it more nicer on the eye. So you want to keep in mind, you see if I do it adjust to the left, you can see the words don't make it all the way and it's not consistent. So that's how we want to justify depending on the project you're working on. Um, that's important. So we've got justify left, we've got justify in the center, we can justify it to the right and we can justify it completely and that what it does, it stretches out the words which looks ugly and messes it up. So yeah, so those are those first alignment tools. Then we've got our um, indenting. So the first one is if I push this up, it's going to indent the whole box. Or if I press enter and just select this paragraph, it will start to enter this paragraph, this one here. If I just want to indent the first line, I can press this one here and it will indent the line of that paragraph. So the first line, you can see that is indented here. So that's the second box. The third one on the right hand side is pretty much indenting from the right hand side. So I'll just move this across. If I select this, you can see it indents from the right and it squishes it this way. So that's pretty cool as well. So for these two, two boxes down here, we've got a space before and a space after. So it's pretty much similar to InDesign. If you work with InDesign, these um, are the same tools that you have in there and it's better working with there because if you're doing big booklets and brochures and flyers and you know magazines and things like that, you really want to work in there. But these are the same tools that you can use in Illustrator and, uh, and it's really useful when you're doing like flyers, even posters and it can really help you out, save you time and energy. If I select this, I can do a space before. So what it does is it increases the space between the end of the last paragraph and this paragraph. So if I select all of it and I want it all to be consistent, I can put like 10 points. So if, every time I press enter and make a new paragraph and type, it's going to keep that spacing consistent. So that's really useful. And then it's the same thing for the other side. It's space after. So if I put a space after, when it ends, it's going to keep that space consistent as you can see there, which is pretty cool. If I select the box, you can see now we have this little red button. What that means is that there's an offset of the text. So I'm just going to leave that there for a second. Because it, the text has gone further. So if I click and drag this out, 
it's gone. So pretty much the space of the text is now visible, but if I make it shorter, you'll get this red box, which means the offset. So if I left click that little red box and I, you can see my mouse changes, I can actually click and drag. And what it does is links these two boxes together. So if I edit this box, it's going to edit this box here. So you can see that. So if I press enter, it's going to change it from here. And in this box as well. So you can see that it connects the boxes. So you got to keep that in mind as well. And if I delete this box, all the text will just go back to this one box. So that's a cool trick as well. You can It all connects, which is handy. Another nice button as well is we have hyphenate. So you can see, you know how some words, they don't finish off and they, they just hyphenate. Like you'll usually get like this, like the hyphen. If we select or and unhyphenate, it'll actually get rid of all these words. So if I just delete this, I'm going to fill it up with some new type. I'm going to make a new box. You can see this is with hyphen on. And then hyphenate, you can see it changes them and gets rid of the hyphens. So you can see the hyphen, turn that off and it gets rid of it. And what it does, it extends, it makes the word that one part, which is pretty cool as well. So what we're going to do now is make a paragraph style. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press T, make a box. Press Control Z. I'm just going to select all this. I'm going to reset all of these. You've got some other options here as well, but we don't need to worry about those. I'm going to just reset all these to zero points. So we have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with the typography. I'm going to go to the, go to the top. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it red. I'm also going to indent the first line. I'll delete that. So we just have one paragraph. I'll indent the first line by 20 points. And I'm going to adjust the letting a little bit by pressing Alt and down and then the kerning a little bit. So cool, we have this one paragraph. Now if I go to my paragraph styles, what I can do is save this style that I've just made. So what I can do is select it, press this little button here in the right corner, and we've got paragraph style one. So what I can do now is if I double click, I can rename this red body for, you know, red body type. And what I can do now is if I go and select a new box, drag out a new box. Shall I do it over here? And I select the normal. This is the normal. I'm going to select the normal paragraph style, right? This is what it looks like. But if I select this and select my new style I just made, Boom, just like that. It's going to copy the same style that I've done here and add it to this text down here. So that's really useful if you're working with a lot of um, bodies of text and it's really going to save you time and you can save multiple. So maybe I want to, you know, add like a title or something. Just make this big. Maybe I want to make this bigger. Make it like a headline. Yeah, I'll keep that bold. Maybe I want it to be blue. I can go ahead, save this, and call it headline. So then what I can do, I can go here, select this, and apply that. Or apply that to the whole body. Just like that. And you can make... Control Z, yeah. And I can apply that too, like that. So that's how you use the paragraph styles and the paragraph tool. Hope this was helpful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. Let me know how this tutorial was, if you learned something. And don't forget to you know leave a comment as well. And let me know what you want to see in the future.